Well, here we are on the decking. I'm gonna have a little look at this flame gun. You remember I bought this at auction? Let's see if we can get it going. Right, well as you can probably see at the top of the decking here, I've had a bit of a clear out. I've painted the decking again, although you wouldn't know it because it poured down with rain afterwards, but um, I've had a little tidy up. I've moved the table over there so that if I am working on there, I've got the bit of, bit of shelter there from the um, overhang of the log cabin. So uh, I did try lighting this up yesterday and um, it didn't do anything. So I'm gonna have to actually clean the jet in the end of it. And I understand that I might have to strip it down a bit further because there is some sort of filter in it as well. So let's have a close look at it. This is the flame gun and basically what it is, is a, a vessel that you fill up with paraffin, you pressurize it, you open a valve, you let this little heating head there heat up and then it basically can shoot out a, a flame for you to kill weeds and stuff like that. So I've done that, I've put fresh paraffin in it and as I say I did give it a start up yesterday but uh, there seems to be a blockage between either the valve and coming out of the jet. So it wasn't quite performing as properly. So what I'm gonna do is to take this screw out here and there's a nut on the end here, and then you can slide this head up and that will uh, show us the coil inside it and also the little jet. So I'll probably have to clean that jet out. So let me go and get some tools and we'll have a look at this now. Right, okay. Now the valve's off, clockwise position. I've just got to undo this big screw here. Now, as I say, I've uh, I've done this up yesterday, but this obviously gets very hot and um, the threads are very dry. Although I did lubricate these with some um, copper slip grease yesterday, but uh, obviously that's all burnt off. So that's that out of there. And I just need to undo this nut here on the back of the actual burning unit. There we go. Again, it's probably not been used for many, many years. This is to say, I brought this from auction. I think it was for about 12 pounds, something like that. I can't remember exactly the actual price. It wasn't a lot of money, but when you buy a new one of these, they're, um, they're quite dear. They're about 60 to 70 pounds, I think. Or the smaller version of this one is anyway. So um, let me just undo this. And then hopefully this should slide backwards. to reveal the coils. Now as you can see, it's all sooty, look. So right, what we've got here is, this is a coil, a coil where, the, so basically the paraffin, when you crack this valve open here, it shoots down here, the uh, paraffin, goes around this coil, and then a little bit spurts out of this little jet here, onto this wick. And then what happens is you're, you're supposed to shut the valve off and then you light this wick with some paraffin on it. The wick burns and that in turn heats up this coil because don't forget there's still paraffin in this coil. And then when it heats up, it heats up the paraffin in this coil, which then expands and vaporizes and that sh shoots a jet of the paraffin in the coil down through there and out comes the uh, jet of, of uh, flames coming out of there. But we're getting the paraffin coming out here, but we're not getting the, the raw in the jet. So maybe this is uh, blocked up. So I'm going to take this jet out here and see if it's blocked out, uh, blocked up. So that's what I'm going to do now. Right, oh, okay. That's the jet out. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's totally blocked. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, that's totally blocked. Let me go and get a fine bit of wire and we'll uh, blow that out. Right, so I'm just going to stick a bit of wire down this jet and see what comes out. But so I can see there it's totally blocked. Can you see? Yeah, look at that, look. Absolutely totally blocked up. It does get sooted up. Apparently if they run at the wrong temperature, they can get sooted up. There we go. And also the uh, tubes can get sooted up as well. So I'll just make sure this is clear first. I mean, look at the soot on my hands. Look, you can see that already. Right, we can see through there now. We hold that out here, there we go. Look, you can just see right through that now, so we know that's nice and clean now. So what I'm gonna try and do now is just to turn on the, um, in fact, I can see in there as well, that that's all that's all blocked up as well in there, so. 
I'm giving that a good poke out as well because if the worst comes to the worst, what you have to do as well is this tube can get all blocked up as well and you might have to flush that through as well. So that involves more stripping down obviously, but um, let's uh, play it by ear first. I'm gonna try turning the, um, put some pressure in the vessel and then try turning it on to see if we can get a, a stream of fluid come out of here. Right, I'm not gonna go mad here. Right, I've just done 12 little turns there and let's see if we when we turn this on whether we get fluid come out oh there we go see that it was blocked at first and then it flooded out so that's good right there because if that if that wouldn't have flowed out of there let me mop that up if that wouldn't have flowed out of there that would have meant that one, this tube could have been blocked up, in which case that would have involved more stripping down, as I said to you. Or apparently, this side of the valve, there's another little filter in there. So you have to actually crack the valve, and this side of the valve, I think there's an inline filter. That could have been blocked. We've got a great flow there, so I know literally we've cleared the blockage. So I'm gonna put this valve back in now, and I'll see you again in a second, and then we'll give it a test run. But can you see what it does there? When you open that valve, it's supposed to saturate this, and then once that cowl is on, you light the, this wick, that heats up in turn, which heats up the surrounding pipework, that coil there, and that's what um, provides us with our big jet of flame. Well, that's the theory anyway. Let me put this valve back in. Well, I'm hoping now that this is probably gonna be all right, and it was t turned out to be a good investment, because I've got loads of weeds I need to get rid of, but uh, hopefully this will be all right. Right, that's that one done up tight. And that's that one done up tight. Right, I'm gonna take this down now because you've got to stand it to let it heat up. Now, as I say, apparently you pressurize these to 20 pounds roughly, so I'm gonna take it over now and we're gonna light it, let it warm up, and then hopefully it'll work all right. Right, okay then. Put that down now. Ooh. Right, so we've already got uh, paraffin on that wick, so I'm just going to light it. Go away, Barney. And I'm just going to... Yep, we just see the, a jet of paraffin squirt straight out, so we know we've got paraffin in there. And I'm just going to pressurise this to 20 PSI now. Right, okay. And what's supposed to happen, it's supposed to burn like that, and you should start to hear the flame will get like a jet sound. And that's when you know that it's ready to be used. So you let it sort of burn its burn first. The valve's off at the moment, as I say, so we're just burning up the fuel on the wick that's heating up that coil, which is full of paraffin at the moment. So we just let that do its stuff. Now again, I can't hear nothing at the moment, but uh, we know that the valve's definitely okay now. And as you can see there on the gauge, I've put 20 pounds worth of pressure in there and the valve's off. There we go, we're starting to get a jet sound now. Now you can see it jetting now. Oh no, here it goes. There we go. I think we're ready. Right. 